In this video, I want to show how to improve a trading strategy in PineScript and achieve a high win rate. We use PineScript to improve a trading strategy in such a way that in the end, 85% of trades are profitable in the backtesting period. However, our goal in this video is not to use this strategy in trading, but the goal is for you to be able to design your own personal trading strategy. Now we move on to the trading strategy. Open the Bitcoin USDT chart in the 15 minute time frame. Note that in this video and in this trading strategy, we only work on this currency pair, and only on this time frame. In the list of indicators, select the alpha trend strategy, and add it to the chart. We can see that the result of the backtest of this strategy is very weak. Actually, the percentage of profitable trades is about 33%, and the profit chart is not good at all. In fact, by default, this strategy works very bad in this currency pair and in this time frame. We do not care how and on what basis this strategy works. Rather, our goal is to make it profitable. This strategy is open source, so open the source of it. We would like to make some changes to this code that will make this strategy very profitable. From the list of indicators, select Stochastic, and add it to the chart. Then open the source of this indicator, and copy it. Paste the stochastic indicator code into the strategy source. Now, we must change the conditions for opening long and short positions. In addition to the previous condition, we open a long position, when the stochastic K line, is above the D line, and the D line is greater than 50. For opening a short position, the conditions are the opposite of the long position. Now, go to Strategy Settings, and reduce the multiplier to 0.3. Also reduce the common period to 7. In the stochastic indicator settings, reduce K length to 12 and increase D smoothing to 5. Now the strategy is much better. Profit chart becomes completely green and rising. In the properties section, change the size of each order to 5% of the total capital. Also change pyramiding to 0 to see the results better. Forty percent of transactions are profitable. In two months, 216 trades have been made, which is a large number. It is possible to improve the win rate and the efficiency of the strategy.
Now, add two exponential moving averages to the strategy, one with a length of 20 and another with a length of 200. We are in the 15 minute time frame. We should calculate these moving averages in the 4 hour time frame. For this, we use the request function. Now we add the new condition to the entry conditions for entering long and short positions. In addition to the previous conditions, we open a long position, when the fast moving average is above the slow moving average, in the 4 hour time frame. And on the contrary, we open a short position, when the fast moving average is below the slow moving average in the 4 hour time frame. Now we should set a condition to exit the open positions. RSI can be a good choice. Define an RSI with a length of 14, which of course can be changed through the settings. Also define a variable, C, O. When the RSI crosses over the 30 line, this variable becomes true. Define another variable, C, U, which is true when the RSI crosses under the line 70. So if we have a long position, that is, the position size is greater than zero, if the CU variable is true we close that long position. And on the contrary, if we have a short position, that means the position size is smaller than zero, if the CO variable is true we close that short position. After saving these changes in the strategy source, we can see that the profit chart has become much better. The percentage of profitable trades has increased to 73%. Now, open the strategy settings, and change the RSI length. By increasing the length of RSI, the efficiency of the strategy improves. Until we reach an optimal length for RSI which is equal to 20. In this case, more than 85% of trades are profitable. And that's great. This backtest was done during a period of two months, which of course is considered short term. There is no need to draw lines and marks on the chart. So, we can comment this section, in source code of the strategy. As stated at the beginning of the video, our goal is not to use this strategy as it is, for real trading.
Rather, our goal was to show how to improve a trading strategy in PineScript, by adding other indicators and removing false signals, and achieve a high win rate. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell, to get notification whenever I upload new videos.